If you wanted to upskill yourself and looking for an internship opportunity in the biotech sector, then here are the top five biotech government institute where you can pursue your internship. So let's explore the topic and see what are the top five government institute from where you can actually pursue your internship. So starting with the very first institute that I've mentioned here, that is Indian Institute of Science. So everyone is aware of this institute. And if you see about Indian Institute of Science, that is IISC, you will have two programs that is short term and long term internship. So if you want to go for the summer internship, short term program, then you can go for short term. If you want to do a long term internship, that means in the form of dissertation, you can do this program. And the duration is for two months as well as six months. As I've mentioned, there are short term as well as long term so if you want to go for two months time duration you can go or you can go for a long term also what is the application process you have to apply through a indian academy of science that is summer research fellowship program that is many other fellowships are present so here you have to apply through ias srfp also you can write mail to scientists so if uh, it is up to you if you want to write a mail directly to the scientists so you can write to them or otherwise you need to apply through a ias channel Channel, that is SRFP program that is fellowship program now how to find details about this so here I've mentioned the website you can just visit this map website and found each and every detail regarding the internship program that is there now what are the benefits that you will be getting after you join this IIC Bangalore for your internship or you can say for six months long-term training that is what called a dissertation so here they will be providing you fooding lodging and stipend so everything will be given to you so that means this internship is just a free now what is the isc division where you will be applying so i hope that you are all are uh, belonging to the biological sciences that means biotechnology and life sciences degree that means you will be applying to the division of biological sciences for your internship now who can apply for this internship in isc bangalore so if you are a b b tech or if you are having b b bsc degree courses or those who are in the final year of msc m tech me can apply here there is a one uh, you can say minimum condition eligibility criteria or condition you can say at least 80 percent is needed for 10th class 12th class and all the semester that you have been through so if you are in the msc so all bsc semester you should have 80 percent marks that is a minimum eligibility criteria to get an internship at isc bangalore coming to the next category of institute that you can see here that is csir ccmb so everyone knows about ccmb that is center for cellular and molecular biology that is in hyderabad so now let's see the details of this institute so who can apply for an internship here so if you are pursuing msc mtech or btech in any branch of life science so you are eligible to apply for an internship now what is the program again there is two program you can see long term and short term training so if you want to go for a short term training you will be doing internship and if you are going for a long term training that will be regarded as your dissertation of major training so the duration is six months or one year so you can see six months for msc candidate and one year for mtech candidates Application proce procedure is recommendation. You will need recommendation letter from the HOD and Dean of the Institute, University and College. So if you are applying for this internship here, so you will need a recommendation letter that is from HOD, uh, Dean of the Institute, University or organization or college where you have completed your MSc or where you are pursuing your MSc or MTech. Names will be announced on the CCMB website and once the result is announced, you have to check the website regularly and the names will be displayed on the website itself. Now, if you want to check into apply online and details regarding all these things, then you can just visit this website. You will get each and every details regarding the internship program that is being carried out at CSIR CCMB. Coming to the third category of institute where you can actually pursue your internship, it's National Institute of Immunology. Yes, it is in New Delhi. Now, let's see about this institute and what is the mode of selection. Firstly, we'll see that is on the basis of marriage base means all the merit list will be designed on the basis of the academic report. So you should be on the merit list. Otherwise, you will not be selected for this NIA internship. Time duration, 
it offers only one internship you can say one time duration is there that is six months session will be july to december or january to june so it's up to you in which session you want to apply who can apply who are those who are pursuing masters or mtech course are eligible to apply for this internship what is the requirement you need to uh, fill the application form along with the recommendation letter that is taken from hod or dean of the university institute or college what are the areas or research where you will be doing uh, you can say your internship it is immunity and infection you can also do your internship in the area of reproduction developmental and cell biology third is genetic cell signaling and cancer biology in the fourth is chemical biology biochemistry and structure biology so this is just a core field so under this many segments will be there so this is just a core field so wherever you are interested you can apply for all these fields in the application form so accordingly you will be getting that field and if you want to do a short term training so here i have discussed six months right so if you want to do a training for six to twelve weeks so again there is one opportunity for all of you guys so summer training opportunity that is there for six to twelve week duration it will be there and but that is sponsored through programs such as kvpy inspire or science academics means you will not be applying directly through the nia website if you want to enroll for your internship for six to twelve weeks uh, in the NIA so you can apply through all these programs that is there so if you want to know more details about all these things so you you can just visit the NIA website there you will get each and every detail regarding all these summer training opportunities as well as six months internship or training that we have discussed coming to the fourth category of institute that is about ISER Pune and if you know ISER stands for Indian Institute of Science Education and Research so you can say itself it is a big brand you can see program here one program program is offered that is summer student program and the research domain you can carry out your research or internship in the field of biology chemistry mathematics and physics now who is eligible to apply for this ISER Pune or you can say internship program those who are in the second third or fourth year of BSc BTech B or equivalent first year of MSc mtech or equivalent can apply for this now what is the minimum condition that is required it is minimum 60% in overall grades, minimum 60% is required or 80% in the particular stream of interest. So here are two minimum eligibility criteria. So you can just check in which category you are falling in and that you can apply. What is the duration of internship? It is just for four to eight weeks. So what is the website? If you want to know more about the details of the internship that is taking place at ISA Pune, so you can just visit this website. And how to apply? You need to fill the registration form that is there in the portal itself. So you need to download that registration form. You need to fill, you need to scan, and then you have to send it. Coming to the fifth category of institute that you can see here and that is NCCS Pune and now everyone knows NCCS stands for National Center for Cell Science. So here let's see about all the details of this lab or institute. Duration six months or one year internship will be provided. Time period will be January to June if it is for six months or Jan to December if it is for one year. July to December if it is for six months and again for one year it is July to June. Now what is the eligibility criteria if you are pursuing BTEC, B Pharma or integrated MSc or if you have done your MSc if you are currently pursuing it M Pharma, M Tech, MBBS, MD in the field of biological sciences you are eligible to apply for this internship. Now what will be the recruitment process? Again it is not directly you have to apply through the Indian Academy of Sciences that is IES. You have to mention the preference as NCCS Pune that you want to do your internship at NCCS Pune. Now if you want to know more about the process each and every details regarding the internship that is held at NCCS Pune so you can just visit this website for everything and you will get to know about each and every details of this particular institute. So this is all about the top five biotech institute from where you can pursue your internship. So the firstly we have seen ISC Bangalore, second CC, CSIR CCMB, thirdly we have seen uh, NII, fourth we have seen ISER Pune and the last we have seen NCCS Pune. So I hope this video was very beneficial for you and if you like the video do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel that is Biotechnica. Thank you once again. Meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care. Keep learning.